Good morning and welcome to NYFP. This morning I'm joined by Gloria Guerrero, who's the Secretary of Tourism from Mexico. Good morning, Gloria. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Glad to be here. Well, you are here in New York as part of your national tour in the United States, and very, many Americans have been to Mexico before. But could you give us a little insight into your economy and where the strengths and weaknesses are? Well, the economy is doing great. Last year, our economy grew 5.5%. The first quarter of this year is also doing quite well. The amount of investments that we have seen coming to the country are much better than last year. Just to share with you, the first quarter of this year, for instance, in the case of investments for tourism, is 127% more than the first period of last year. At the same time, in the case of travelers and tourism, we have seen an increase from all nationalities that travel to the country. Specifically here in the U.S., there have been uh, travel warnings issued for tourists coming from the United States. But could you clarify how much of these uh, warnings are um, effective and what do you think are the dangers right now? When, when you talk about Mexico, um, unfortunately in the U.S., you don't talk about specific places. Mexico is a quite large country. When we talk about the U.S., for instance, we never say U.S. We say New York, Washington, L.A., and if something happens, for instance, in L.A., I mean, we can come to New York without a problem because we know exactly what it is. In the case of Mexico, we have 2,500 equivalent to counties. We call municipals. 2,500. Now, from those 2,500, we have challenges in 80, 80 of those. That's less than 5%. A lot of those are very close to the border and very far away from the touristic destinations. So if you want to go to Cancun, for instance, or Vallarta, specifically Cancun is 1,000 miles away from these destinations. 90% uh, of the Americans that come to Mexico, they go to five or six different destinations, such as Cancun, Riviera. They come to Los Cabos, Vallarta, Mexico City, Guadalajara. And these places are totally fine, and they are remote locations where we are facing these challenges. We need to talk more about specifics. And one of the requests that we have is that, yes, we have issues, but in 80 of the 2,500 counties. So if something happens in San Fernando, for instance, Tamaulipas, where is that? That's a very far location from a touristic destination. Okay, Gloria, last but not least, before I let you go, uh, since we are uh, talking about the tourism industry, where do you think the strengths are within the tourism uh, industry right now in Mexico? Well, in Mexico, you, have, uh, you can get a greater value for your money. In Mexico, you can combine and have one of the, visit one of the most beautiful places, what we call sun and beach destination. For instance, you can enjoy a great place such as Cancun, Riviera, or Los Cabos. At the same time, enjoy a wonderful um, experience because the service is outstanding. Cultural, for instance, this year we're promoting the Maya culture. The Maya calendar ends next year. December 21st, 2012, we're promoting 10 archaeological sites that everyone should visit before 2012. You can also find great food. The gastronomy is excellent in Mexico. It's one of the two that are considered uh, world heritage, intangible world heritage by UNESCO. So there are a lot of places to visit in Mexico and have a unique, great experience while you're there. And at the same time, get a greater value for your money because the infrastructure is there, the service is there. And it's uh, one fly away from the U.S. Uh, it's a non-stop fly, usually from every single destination. Okay, Gloria, thank you so much today for your time and thanks for all your insight. Thank you.